Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this super quick and easy Apple style text reveal directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is start with a blank presentation, right click and choose layout blank. Firstly, we'll format the black background. So we'll right click, go to format background, solid fill and choose black. Now let's quickly add our text. So we'll click up here, click anywhere to add the text. We'll make this text white so we can see it. Then type any text we want. I'm going to choose fig tree as the font and size 54 as the size. I'll quickly center it and align it to the middle. Now we can add the gradient effect on the text. So we can click on it, right click and choose format shape. Make sure that we're on text options because otherwise if you select gradient fill, it will add it to the whole block, the whole shape of text, but we want to go to text options. So we'll go to text options. There we can choose gradient fill. And now you can see the effect that it's added. By default, this will just select these four stops of blue. So I'm just going to drag one of them away. This first one, I'm going to change to black. The second one, I'm going to change to a black and make it a brightness of about 50. And then the third one on the right, I'm going to change to white. That's looking good. Now we can quickly add the others and get the animation working. So for the very first page, we just want this to fade in, but the others will want to use morph, but we can set morph for all of these. So I'll go to transitions and click morph. Now when I run that, it will simply fade in, which is a really nice effect. But when we make the others, it will animate. So we'll go to the slide sorter. Click on slide one, press control D to duplicate. Now we're on slide two. I'm going to hold down shift and move this up. I'm now going to hold down control and shift to make a copy of it. In this, I can paste in my text. Now when I run from slide one, I can click and it will move up while fading in the other text. A really nice effect. We can add a third line of text. Going to slide two. Pressing Ctrl D to duplicate again. Move these both up slightly. Click on this second text item and hold down Ctrl and Shift and drag down. The control will make a copy and we hold down Shift to keep it in its horizontal position. Now we can paste in or write our new text. I want this text to be a tiny bit less wide, so I'm going to click on it and select 52. I'll center this up center it on the page. So now if we click to run this, we can advance, the text will slide up and the extra text will fade in underneath. This is a really nice effect. In my example in the front, I had this text sliding in from the bottom. And to do that, we can just control C on slide three, go to slide two, click anywhere, control V to paste. And then I'm going to drag this right to the bottom of the screen off the slide. Now, when we play from this slide, the text will move up as the other text slides in. A really nice effect. So let's quickly play that from the start. And if you'd like to make the effect quicker, we can just select all of these. So select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one, go to transitions, and you can set the duration to whatever you want. Great, a really nice way of making some powerful and impactful text statements in PowerPoint. If you'd like to download the source files of any of my recent tutorials, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.